Tomboy. Let's take a look at it. It comes pre-installed in this version of Ubuntu. Here's how Tomboy will appear before you start to use it for the first time. If it doesn't come pre-installed in your version then you can use the software center in Ubuntu or in Mint or in Zorin or whatever. You can in fact download it from the Tomboy website and install it that way. Okay, so what is Tomboy? I suppose you could say it's a notepad that meets a simple database or perhaps notepad on steroids. Anyway, you can make up your own mind on that. Let's see how to use it and look what it can offer. Let's make a simple note. New note. And this is for the heading. I'm going to head back Kipling. Ah. Okay, and here I'm going to put a line from Kipling from the Smuggler's Song. If you wait at midnight and hear the horse's feet. Okay, if you wake at midnight and hear the horse's feet, and that's from the Smuggler's Song. Okay, let's make another note. I close that one down, and there's no need to save it. It automatically saves. Right, next we go to here and make a new note. This time I'm going to head it feet. And here a subheading of animals with four feet. Okay, now let's say I want to make that bold. I can just highlight it and have a choice of either pressing Control B or if I wish I can go up here and come down there. Much easier to do Control B. And of course if I wanted to have it italic, I could have Control I. If I want to take the italics off, I'll press Control I again and off it goes. Okay, animals with four feet. Pigs, dogs, uh, cows, etc, etc. Okay, close that down. Now let me show you what's happened here. If you remember in Kipling we said if you make wake at midnight and hear the horse's feet. So I was talking about feet and feet happens to be a heading for another note. So if I click on feet it will bring up the note that we just made there for animals feet. Okay and I could likewise if I made a heading uh, with cows or dogs or pigs or any of these words it would become highlighted. Okay let's close that one down and see what happens if I was to put a web link in here. HTTP colon slash slash www.bbc.co.uk What would we do without the BBC? Okay now I'm just going to make a click on that was a single click and up came the web browser and we're into the BBC website. Okay, that could be for any web link you wish. Now what happens if you want to categorize these? Well you can have a different category. So we could have a new notebook. Let's say the new notebook was animals. Okay create animals and there we are. Now this one on feet was really about animals so if I drag this into there then I've got the animals ones includes feet. All notes include that as well. Unfiled notes don't include animals because that was a filed note and I could file all of them if I wish. Okay. So that just shows you briefly what you can do. Now, let's see if we can do a search. I want to know about, is, is there any notes in here that have got the word horses? And there we are, straight away it comes up, not even having to press enter or carriage return, whatever you want to call it. 
Okay, uh, likewise I could put uh, cows. And there we are. We know, for example, that uh, cows were one of the animals with four feet in that note. Okay, so from this we can see we can make individual notes that the notes can link together with um, words that exist in the headings of other notes and we can also do a search which searches not only the heading but also all the words within each note now you do get some notes with tomboy when you first start it telling you a little bit about what I've said there how to use the notes in, uh, to make links and here a bit more about tomboy okay you can read all about it but that isn't the end you can also synchronize your notes we go to preferences here and we can go into synchronization and we choose um, tomboy web and then we say connect to server now I'm not going to do that now because I have an account already but if you were to go to tomboy web there and say connect to server you would then go through to Ubuntu one and you'd be able to set up an account there free account and then when you finish don't forget this is really really important to click on save okay click on come back here and click on save once it's all gone through and it says your account is now set up etc click on save you can also make it automatically sync every so many minutes that might be every 10 minutes or whatever so if you're working on some notes they will automatically sync in the background to Ubuntu One. Now if you've heard of Dropbox, Ubuntu One is virtually the same. But in this case it's ready built into Tomboy to link straight through to Ubuntu One. This means you can go onto a, a different machine entirely and you can even go onto your Android phone where there is an application called Tomdroid. Now Tomdroid unfortunately has no search facilities it doesn't allow you to make notes but if you've got the patience to read through all the notes for the headings then you can get all the same notes you've got on Tomboy in Tomdroid okay so there we are um, things you can do with it you can make notes you can link between notes you can link to websites you can search for any uh, words that are in those notes and you can synchronize it with other computers and believe it or not, you can even get it on that other operating system, which I believe they call, um, let me just see, um, Windows. Uh, but, of course, always best to do it on Linux. There we are. Thank you for watching this video.